Well, hello everybody and welcome to Chester Zoo. It's a great day out for all the family, whether you're with the little ones or it's just a bunch of friends. Look at how much fun they're having. They're having a spiffing time. Now, what's happening down at the elephants? Look, Mummy's here to look after Junior. Make sure he's up to no trouble. Oh, but look at the little tyke. He's walking through the mud already. It doesn't take long, does it? Mum comes round and makes sure he has a wash. That's it. She's here to make sure he washes behind his ears. There's a lot of dirt down there, you know. After his bath, off he goes to have a little play. Look at him. He's having a whale of a time, trumpeting around, waving his trunk in the air. Meanwhile, it's time for Mother to have her own tea. That's it. Get stuck in. Oh, it looks like it's fleeting time down at the Flamingos. I see George is there first. As usual. Doesn't take long for everybody else to catch up, though. Now, what sort of a view do you think these people have over the zoo? I bet they can see for miles. But it looks like it's feeding time here. That chap looks no bigger than an ant. These guys can obviously breathe in a lot of that fresh air that Chester's so famous for. Well, it looks like these guys are ready for bed already. They have their pyjamas on. Although it doesn't look as though he knows what to do with that pole. He's just staring at it. Ah, now he's got it. Look at him. That's it. Give it a good scratch. There you go. These two are up to no good, look. Look, they're up to mischief. That'll never do. Although, it doesn't look serious. It looks like it's just a game. Let's have a closer look. There we go. Yes, they're just having a jolly jape. Meanwhile... There could be some no good going on here. Ah, oh, no, he's decided the better of it. That's it. A man with a good conscience. Ah, now down at the bears, it looks like Daddy Bear's leading the family on a little honey hunt. Don't want Baby Bear getting left behind, though. Come on, Junior, catch up. There he is. He's managed to find the family and mother's looking after him again. Meanwhile at the Okapi, he's found the best spot hasn't he? Keep out of that sun that Chester's so famous for. Meanwhile, Clarence needs to go and find his own shady spot. Now when it comes to mandrills, they like a bit of fun themselves. Look at these having a go. Probably telling secrets about Clarence. Ah, now here's the king of the jungle. Look at him. Oh, he's hunting. Ah, he's only hunting his tea. When it comes to food, that's very important for a lion. That's it. Get stuck in. Ah, now here are the chimps. Now what's this little one contemplating? Oh, what a shocker. Ha 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 ha. What's he going to do now? There he goes into the bushes. Oh, it's obviously feeding time down at the chimps. This guy's got a whole stick to himself. Look at all that. It must be time for a tea party with the chimps. Look, these are going to get their own tea when it comes to tea with the chimps. One hump or two. <laughs> oh, that's a terrible joke. I hope you don't tell another. I'm off before you do. Hey everybody, this is Bite Blast. Here I am again on Chester Zoo. I hope you enjoyed the uh, the little preamble there. Um, I just wanted to let you know about something that I've changed within the zoo and also the new things that you'll be getting with uh, this version. Uh, 1.7, I believe. I think we're on 1.7. Um, so the new things that you'll be getting in this version are uh, the Safari Snacks build that we saw uh, a few weeks ago, uh, the Giant Anteater, enclosure is here now 
um, the staff canteen, which I'll show you in a, a moment, uh, because we've got the two uh, miniature monkeys enclosures and the start of the playground. It's not quite finished yet. Um, and something else that's special. So I'll just show you the staff canteen, as I mentioned. So there you go, staff canteen in there, which uh, which has a staff canteen and I think a, a power power plant in there. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is the new addition. Um, this is going to help you uh, if you want to use this zoo as as an actual zoo rather than downloading it as a as an exercise to see uh, what I've put in or, or whatever else you use it for. Um, in the past uh, there have been a few of the enclosures that you couldn't actually use to put animals in. So this is um, a great example here. This is the lemur exhibit in the zoo and the way it works in real life is you go in through this door through the entrance and then you're in the, the actual uh, enclosure. Uh, there are uh, ring-tailed lemurs wandering about and you wander around the path and watch the lemurs and then you go out through the other building, the other exit down here. Unfortunately, uh, the game doesn't like these buildings and it's because there are things like these planks and some of the roofs, things like that. The lemurs can climb on these, but if a piece of scenery goes through a fence the lemur will go through the fence. The, the lemur will climb on here and then just go all the way out of the fence. It, it just um, it just doesn't work. So you can't actually use this enclosure and there are a few others around the park that you can't use because uh, the animals just escape all the time. So what I've done is I've created these crosses and these crosses you'll find in any of the enclosures that have issues with them. And what you can do now is if you select one of these crosses with the left mouse button, it highlights the building that needs deleting. All you need to do is press delete and that building will then and it will mean that if you get rid of all the crosses in a, an area and these two as well, if you got rid of them, um, you can now use this location. So I'm actually going to put them back because I'd like you to have that option. So just uh, bear with us while that comes back. There it goes. So yeah, if you want to use this for lemurs, delete all these four crosses and then this location should be fine for lemurs. Um, what else? Um, there's a few others, as I mentioned. Uh, and if my, uh, if my mouse decides it wants to move, it's still uh, redrawing the uh, area. So one of these uh, new locations is the miniature monkeys. So again, uh, unusable as they stand. Um, if you if you want it to look like the miniature monkeys, um, then it, it does. It looks like the miniature monkey enclosure. This is how it is in real life with the wooden paneling. However, that wooden paneling. Uh, means that the miniature monkeys can walk through and um, escape to freedom. Uh, you will need to delete the fencing and put your own fence in. So you just need to put a normal barrier in. It's the same with this enclosure. There's another cross in there. Uh, and I think that's it. I think all of them are, are fixed now. Um, so you can use them if you wish. Um, I hope that's helpful for you because I know some people have been saying oh you can't use this for a, a lemur and I want to put lemurs in. Um, I've now come up with a solution for you. Hopefully that will allow you to either have it looking like the proper zoo um, or it will allow you to put animals in. If on the other hand you want to keep it looking as Chester Zoo does but you don't want the massive red cross then all you need to do is go into the group like that so, and then just delete the bits that you don't want. So you can just get rid of these bits. And leave in the rest of it. Okay. Good. Um, I uh, hope that you enjoy using the zoo. I hope that it's something that uh, 
you uh, you you enjoy when you download. Uh, I'd love to hear if um, any of you have put animals in and what issues you've got. I know there aren't so many um, keeper huts and things around at the moment, but I am trying to hide them in buildings. Um, so, for example, some of the changes you might see if you uh, if you actually download version 1.7 is things like there is now a keeper hut hidden away inside there, and there are a few others that have popped. I've popped away so um, I am working on that as well um, but yeah that's it from me today I uh, hope you enjoy it please download it if you like it uh, leave comments in uh, the comments for the video as I read the video comments more than I read the workshop comments but um, I hope you enjoy it my name is Backblast I'll catch you next time